hallelujah god bless you you're welcome to this prophetic session i'm sure you you welcome to my youtube channel prophetic moments with blessing may god bless you if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing consider becoming a part of this family you will be blessed bountifully in the mighty name of jesus amen this is a specific word of prophecy this particular person there was a separation you got separated from from your lover from your friend there is this person you have been in a relationship with and you guys got separated but you have been waiting for them i, I don't know if you guys had a promise of coming back to each other i don't know if they made a promise to you of returning to you but i see you are waiting what is clear what i see clearly is that you have been waiting on your return maybe you've been waiting for months now or for years now you have been waiting but i see you are convicted beyond reasonable doubt i see you are you are so convicted you've had dreams you've had visions and you're so convicted that this person will come back to you and and there's others watching me right now you guys have not been in contact for a while you guys have not been in touch for a while but somehow you're convicted that this person will come back to you because they made a promise to you because somehow God has spoken to you. So you're holding on this conviction that this person will come back. But this is the Lord, the word of the Lord. So what God says, I should tell you. You see, what God has said, yes, nobody can say no. If God says yes, no one can say no. I want you, I want to give you this word of assurance. If God has said yes on something, there is nobody that can say no. You see, there is something called the will of God. The Bible says, for it is God that works in us, both for his will and his good pleasure. It is God that works in us, both for his will and his good pleasure. That's what the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 2. It is God that works in us both for his will and for his good pleasure. And the Bible also says in the book of Isaiah, My counsel shall stand and I will do my good pleasure. That is what the Bible also says. My counsel shall stand. That's God speaking. God speaking himself says, My counsel shall stand and I will do my good pleasure. You see, irrespective of the limitations you see, irrespective of the challenges you see, irrespective of the things that make you feel like your convictions are wrong or the things that make you feel like the person you are waiting on will not come or the things that make you feel discouraged that makes you want to give up, irrespective of those things, I want you to believe in the word of God. You see, if it is the will of God for that person to come back into your life, they will come back. Nobody can stop the will of God. Nobody can stop what God is or wants to do yes he says my counsel shall stand and i will do my good pleasure yes if it's the will of god they will come if god told you about it if god spoke to you about it if you received a prophecy about it i want you to be reassured i want you to hold on to the words that you've received with confidence with trust and in faith you see many times we give up because of the challenges because of the limitations before us because of the things that happen to us the circumstances around us that are contrary to our expectations many people give up not because the 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 not because of not because something has really happened you know there are many people who give up on something not because the worst happened but simply because they read signs wrong signs simply because they saw things happen around them simply because if someone said something to them you see when god gives a word when god speaks about something when god says something guess what he has it figured out before god even says for a word before god even says he wants to do something before god lets you in on the plan of what he's doing he already knows how he will do it look at the story of mary the angel came to mary and said hey mary full of grace you are favored you're about to get pregnant and give birth to a son. And Mary said, how will these things be? See that I know no man. And the angel said, the Holy One will come upon you and you are going to be pregnant. You see, the first time or, or, or some time ago, I read that particular scripture and God spoke to my heart. God gave me a revelation of that scripture. You see, when the angel said to Mary, the Holy One will come upon you, God began to teach me and God told me that he has it figured out. The moment God gives you a word, before he even gives you the word, before he even reveals his plans to you, you know, the moment you knew about it is not when God began doing it, no. 
oh come on the moment you knew about the plan the moment you received the prophecy the moment you heard about the promise of god is not when god began doing it god planted long time ago he in fact the moment you heard it is the moment god finished doing it is the moment god finished working it out so god has it figured out he knows exactly what will happen he knows exactly how he will do it he knows exactly how he will go about it just trust in his word if god has confirmed those words to you if god has spoken to you about that i want you to trust in god and hold on to that word and wait because the words of the lord do not fall to the ground they will be fulfilled in due season in the name of jesus god bless you i love you i'll see you soon shalom